pretty close to yesterday's high and VWAP and half dollar support right there alone, three levels with an imbalance. So eyes on snap right here. Again, yesterday's highs is what it is. 1059. 1059. And boom. All right, I'm going to hit this. All right, what do I want? I want 11. 1075 a bit tight. So I want 11 bucks on this one with a one to one as always. Yep, I like it. It's a, it's a nice looking setup. Plenty of volume. Yesterday's highs. Little one minute imbalance, VWAP support, half dollar support, and boom, there's 11. And there's your break of 11. So selling right there. So snap, why did this catch my attention? Number one, is the pre-market trend, would you consider this strong? Yes, absolutely. This is a strong pre-market trend. Had that really nice rip um, right before the bell. Okay. Do we got any key levels? Well, for larger time frame, we don't got any key support levels for the larger time frame in here. But we did have our intraday level. What is that intraday level? It is yesterday's highs. That's our key level at 1059. That's our key level of support. Okay, and that's not all. We also had a little imbalance in there. See that on the one minute? Let me check the five minute as well. Uh, yeah, a little bit larger. So it did tap down into that five minute imbalance. But So we got our imbalance. We got our key level being yesterday's highs. Taking out low of day sell side. And now I said this earlier, why didn't I hit it off of 11? You might be wondering, uh, Mike, we took out that sell side down at the whole number at 11. Why didn't you hit it there? Well, keep in mind, we were coming fresh off of daily resistance, like literally a couple minutes ago, pulling back off that daily resistance. That's why that's the main reason why I held off. It was already overextended. Look at that big movement from pre market. It was quite overextended from actually. Let me draw Fibonacci on this. I believe that is, um, it might have just barely missed a discount from that, from that really big rip. Let me do that real quick. I think it's, it had to be close. It's not quite a discount. 50% is 1016. But yeah, so it was pulling back off of that, um, off of that daily, that, uh, that daily resistance. And if you look at the five minutes, see where your imbalance begins on the five minute 1090 is actually where that imbalance begins. So there was a few things in there that contributed to it. Me not taking it off of 11 and waiting on yesterday's highs, waiting on half dollar support. It was over, it was overbought at that point. And then it pulled back. We got our setup. Again, yesterday's highs, half dollar support, VWAP support. We had multiple things in there. And why 11 bucks for a PT? That is whole number resistance. And plus, it gave it plenty of wiggle room. So, pretty straightforward, solid play. And that about covers it.